Hello and welcome. In this video tutorial, we're going to discuss the shortcut operators in Java. We'll also discuss the two different forms of notation, the prefix and postfix notations of the shortcut operators. So let us begin with a simple example. I have a simple program here called shortcut operators demo. It's a Java class that consists of one method, the main method, which means we're going to call this program from the Java virtual machine. And this method contains two statements. The first statement is a declaration and initialization of a variable called count, an integer. And then simply we will print out the value of count. So as you can see, this is a very simple program. I'm going to compile and run this program to show you what it does. Well, as you can see, it simply prints out count is equal to zero. Okay, so I now wish to introduce the shortcut operators. There are, as it happens, seven shortcut operators, but don't let the number seven scare you. In fact, most of them are identical and are fairly easy to understand. So let me begin. I'll introduce the first shortcut operator, which is the addition operator. So I can write, for example, if I wish to add four to count, normally what you would write is count is equal to count plus four for simplicity. Okay, so if I run this program, what I should get is count is equal to four. So compile and run and count is equal to four, as you can see. Okay, now let me show you the shortcut operator for addition. Sorry, instead of running that statement, I could write count plus equals four. So this is the shortcut operator for addition. And this statement here is identical to writing this statement here, without the comment, obviously. So let me demonstrate by running this. Compile and run, and as you can see, count is equal to four. We have the exact same functional result. So that's the first shortcut operator, the addition operator. The second shortcut operator is for subtraction. So once again, let me demonstrate. If you wanted to subtract a number from an integer variable, what you would normally type is count is equal to count minus, for example, three for simplicity. So count is already equal to four. So count is equal to count minus three. This should result with count equaling one. So let me run this just to demonstrate. So count is equal to one. Okay, now the shortcut um, operator for subtraction is count minus equals three. So this subtracts three from count. So this statement here is identical to this statement here functionally identical, except in this case we use a shortcut operator. So let me demonstrate. We should get an output of count equal one. So let me compile and run, and count is equal to one. So that is the shortcut operator for subtraction. The third, fourth, and fifth shortcut operators are very similar, so I shall show them together. They are for multiplication, division, and remainder operations. So for example, count is equal to count multiplied by, for example, three. The shortcut operator for multiplication is similar to the above two. It's count multiply equals three. So these two statements are identical. This is the shortcut operator for multiplication. Likewise, with division, count is equal to count divided by two for simplicity. And the shortcut operator for division is count divided equals Two. So once again, these two statements here are the exact same, except this uses the shortcut operator. And lastly, for the remainder operation, count is equal to um, count the remainder operator and say two again. So the shortcut operator for the remainder is remainder equals two. So as you can see, they're almost identical. Instead of writing count plus four, we have plus equals. Instead of minus, we have minus equals. Multiplication, it's multiplication equals. Division, division equals. And modulus, uh, remainder is modulus equals. So as you can see, these five shortcut operators are very, very similar. That's the first thing I want to show you. I now want to introduce the increment and decrement operators. So let me just clear away these uh, lines and Rather than incrementing, or rather than adding on four or five or six or any uh, arbitrary number, what if I simply want to increment the counter by one? So let me demonstrate. 
In fact, let me just get rid of all previous lines so there's no confusion. So I have here a count is equal to count plus one. So what we're actually doing is simply incrementing this counter by one. So just to show clearly this works, count is equal to one. Count was initialized as zero and count is equal to count plus one, therefore count is one. Okay, that's straightforward. So a shortcut operator for the incrementing a variable is as follows. Let me comment it out. It's, we can simply write count plus plus. And this simply means increment the count variable by one. So let me run this to show you that it does exactly what I say it does. Count is equal to one. Count was initialized to zero. We incremented it and therefore it's equal to one. <coughs> okay. Likewise, there is a decrement operation. So I could write count is equal to count minus one to decrement the count variable. Well, the shortcut decrement operator is as follows, count minus minus. And this simply performs the identical functionality as this statement here. So count was equal to one after incrementing count here. When I decrement it, count should be back to zero. So let's compile and run and have a look and count to zero. This is exactly what we're looking for. Okay. Lastly, I wish to explain the difference between prefix operators and postfix operators. So let me show you exactly what I mean. Um, let me delete these lines here first to show you only the information you need. Okay, this is an example of a postfix operator. Well, maybe if I show you a prefix and then explain it. So this is the example of a prefix operator. So you can clearly see the difference. In a postfix, with a postfix operator, the plus plus appears after the variable to be incremented. In a prefix operation, the plus plus appears before, immediately before the variable name. So what is the difference? Well, believe it or not, these two statements perform identically when they're on the one line. Okay, so these two, if you had your code like this, they actually perform the exact same functionality. This increments count by one, this also inc increments count by one. Okay, then what's the difference? Well, the best way to show you the difference is actually to, to use a prefix and postfix operation within another statement. So here's a classic example here, okay? So I have initialized count to zero, and then I say system.out.println count is equal to, and then I say print out count plus plus. So, Beginner programmers will think, well, this is going to print out count is equal to 1 because we've incremented a count, right? Actually, no, that's not going to happen. Let me demonstrate. Let me compile and run. And as you can see, it printed out count is equal to 0. But you may say, well, hold on a second. We've just incremented it. How come it didn't print out count is equal to 1? Well, the reason is because this is a postfix operation. And what a postfix operation says is use count the current value of count when processing this statement and only after you've processed this statement then increment count by one. So this statement here is identical to typing the following. Okay, so this one statement here is identical to typing these two statements here. So you can see the difference when we have count plus plus used within a statement as opposed to standalone. Remember, standalone means like this, C-O-U-N-T plus plus. Standalone means completely by itself and not used as part of a statement or not used in a statement. So that's what standalone means. So it's not standalone. We have count plus plus within a system without the print line statement. So what we're actually saying is, print out the current value of count, and after this statement has been executed, then increment count by one. That's exactly what a postfix operation does. Now, what if I had the following? Minus minus count, oh sorry, plus plus count, sorry, I beg your pardon. What would happen here? Well, it's almost the same, but one crucial difference. What it does is, I beg your pardon, it increments count first and then prints out the value. So when the Java virtual machine comes to process this statement, it sees plus plus count. This is a prefix operation and prefix means perform the operation 
before you process the entire statement. So it first increments count by one, and then it prints out the value of count. So exactly like this here, it increments count by one, and then it prints out the value of the statement here. So let me just comment these out so I can just show you this code running. So in this case, count is initialized to zero. In this statement, we see it's a prefix operation, plus plus count, therefore count is incremented to one, and then it prints out the value of count. So if I run this program here, I should get count is equal to one. So let me compile and run, and as you can see, count is equal to one. So that is the difference between a prefix and a postfix operation. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, thank you for watching.